Welcome to the course on real analysis. In the previous lecture, what we have seen is that we have seen the definition of a limit point and we proved the neighborhood of the limit point. Every neighborhood of a limit point will contain infinitely many points of the set. With that idea, we are going to prove one more result that is a finite set has no limit point. Okay. Suppose, in order to prove this, let us take, suppose P is a limit point of E. This E here is finite set. Okay. Let us take this way. Using that result, what we can say? NR of P contains infinitely many points of E. But what? E is a finite set. In a finite set, we cannot identify infinitely many points. This tells us that a finite set has no limit points. Okay. So, now let us define closed set. A closed set is something. E is said to be closed if every limit point of E is a point of E. What are they trying to say in this definition? They are saying that a set is said to be closed if every limit point of E. Which means if a set has uh, a limit point, it may be a single limit point, it may have more than one limit point, but all the limit points must be a members of that set. Which means that those points has to be contained in that set. If it is so, then we can say that set as a closed set. Okay. So, with this definition, can you think whether the finite set is closed or not? Finite set has no limit points. Okay. Here in the definition, we are saying that every limit point, in the definition of a closed set, we are saying that every limit point of E has to be a member of E. And finite set has no limit points. If at all we have a limit point, then we may talk whether it is a member of a set or not. So, finite set are closed sets. Okay. Next, we are going to define a, something called perfect set. Okay. A set is called as perfect if it is closed. And every point of the set is a limit point. Okay, what is the main difference between a closed set and a perfect set? In closed set, we have said that every limit point must be a member of that set. Here, a set is said to be perfect if it is closed. Okay, by saying it is closed, we mean that every limit point of that set is a member of a set and every point of E is a limit point of E. Which means what? If a set is containing a certain number of points, all the points has to be a limit point of that set. Only then we can say that set is a perfect set. Next, we are going to define bounded set. Okay, we have seen the boundedness of a set uh, in a standard metric setup before uh, we come into basic topology. Here we are going to define that boundedness in a general metric setup. A set is said to be bounded if there exists a positive real number and some point in a metric space such that d of p 
P comma Q is less than M for all P in E. Or it may be put in another words that D of P comma Q is less than M for some fixed M bigger than 0 and this is true for all P Q in E. A boundedness may be defined in these ways as well. Okay. In this lecture we have seen a finite set has no limit points and we have seen the definition of a closed set, perfect set and bounded set. In the upcoming videos we will see a few more results on this open sets, closed sets and we will see examples of these sets as well. Thank you for watching this lecture. If you have any queries you can post it in the comment section. Thank you.